scrapping an aftermarket car CD player. And uh, aftermarket, I, I mean, you know, a, a CD player that uh, you picked up Best Buy or somewhere like that to, to add into your car. It's not necessarily uh, what comes from the factory. And uh, this is some examples of, of aftermarket CD players. This one has the face on it that, that opens up. And if you're out scrapping, uh, riding around looking for scrap the way I do, uh, this is a good indicator that something good's in the pile. A lot of times uh, people will get their stereo in and they'll install it in their garage or whatever and you'll see this box in, in the trash pile. Sometimes the, uh, the radio will be in that box or it'll be in the scrap pile uh, somewhere with, well I say scrap pile, in their trash pile. Uh, when you're out looking for scraps, so that's a good indicator, of something you wanna you wanna keep an eye out for when you're out riding around looking for your scrap. I see a lot of videos on YouTube. This will be my first one, but I see a lot of videos on YouTube. People are asking the question: Is it worth scrapping this? Is it worth scrapping that? It's really what you uh, you want out of it. If you're looking for a lot of money short term, then uh, no, it's probably not gonna be worth it for you. If you're wanting to do it as a as a hobby and make a little money uh, in the long term to pick up, you know, extra bill here and there or, or uh, something along those lines to support another hobby, then uh, of course it's worth it. Now a lot of people will take these radios and uh, throw them in their steel pile or their shred, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I like to take mine apart because I do. E scrap. I, I try to get is is whatever I can get out of it. Now, obviously, the first thing you need to do is test the radio to see if it works. If it works, you're going to get a whole lot more money out of it, selling it on Craigslist or flea market or yard sale than you would obviously with scrap. If one of these radios works good, you know you can get anywhere from fifteen to fifty dollars uh, at on like, again Craigslist to yard sale or something like that. These, uh, for our purposes and, and to scrap, have been tested and, and they don't work. And one of the first things you can do is, is the wire and harness on the back. Just hold that in and take it out and get ready. And, uh, well, I jumped ahead of myself. The first thing you need to do, safety. And uh, if you're messing with anything like this, you gotta, you're going to worry about getting scratched, cut, pinched, hurt by a tool. Whatever you need, good to uh, cover your your hands, and then you need uh, some way to cover your eyes uh, uh, for for protection there. But to get started, a lot of these radios will have a mounting plate on them. Just take a screwdriver, so they're they're held in by just little brackets there that uh, hold things in. They're just bent in on the side. Uh, so you can have a, a tool to mount those in and take them in and out with. And usually after you get that done, that piece slides right off. And you want to add that to your steel. That plate already already popped off. And then usually you're just going to have a set of screws. I'm hoping you can see this. Like I say, it's my first uh, attempt at a video. And you want to take all those screws out. Most everything is going to be steel. Uh, this is your uh, control head. Some of those are, are removable, uh, so you can take them with you to keep somebody from stealing it. But I hope you can see there, that's going to be gold, and this is going to be gold. So we'll start with this uh, control head first. And just get you a small set of plier, uh, screwdrivers, there you go, to work with. Because a lot of these uh, screws are fairly small that you're... Uh, going to try to take out, especially out of the, the radios and stuff, and you'll get that, get those screws taken out, and this will be the first thing we'll, we'll look at here. Because this will have a, a board in it with some gold on it, it's also going to have a LCD display depends on where you take your scrap. If you take it to a local yard, uh, you can ask them. The people I take mine to, or I don't take mine to, I, I put it all in a box and then ship it to them. 
they'll, they'll take the LCD screens on them. Uh, you just find a little notch there. Just pop that out. And all this other stuff, the plastic stuff, you can just kind of put that away because that's not uh, going to be worth anything. And there's the board. And it's got a little... Uh, uh, processor there and a good thing of uh, telling about a board the more stuff it's got going on with it the more that board's going to be worth uh, and like I said that I'll make a video of the people I send my board to and uh, they can give you an idea about what uh, what that's going to be worth so just set that over there and uh, here on the back of this we'll take some screws out again Driver's almost too small to get that out. I don't know if you can tell or not from the different uh, color here. That's going to be a cast aluminum heat sink on the back of the radio there. So I can get the drill in there, speed us up a little bit. these screws out again just use your uh, flathead screwdriver work a little more on getting this one out Let's move these a lot of these stuff with the radios are just uh, formed steel that they they bend around to to hold this in one thing or two in place and it's just a matter of getting those things bent out of the way to get to what you want and that is our heat sink on the back here again that's little small screws One screwdriver too big and one screwdriver too small. So we'll try to get that popped off of there. That's going to be a, a pretty good size uh, piece of uh, cast aluminum there with a heat sink on it. Where it is, is a heat sink. Pry all that back and we'll get down to inside with the, uh, the board. That's just another piece of steel there. And again we've got a series of screws, small screws. There we go. A little more difficult than I anticipated. Major part down here is, is your, going to be your disc player, and uh, like several that I've taken apart before, uh, you want to be careful working into it. I don't know if you can see there; that looks like a homemade, uh, or not, you know, one that's been recorded from home. But there is a CD in there, and you never know; it might be something you like. So you want to. Kind of take it easy with that. It, it might be a seven or eight dollar CD in there. It just increased your value. A lot of times, uh, home DVD players will be the same way. You'll see a, a disc in there. Because uh, most of the time, that's when people know that their player no longer works is when they've tried to put a, a disc in the play. And of course it's not going to play. It doesn't work. And one last screw there being resistant. There we go.
most of the time that would come out relatively easy to pop out. And that just flew up and hit me in the face. And that's why you want to have something to protect your eyes. Now this is a little board that's on there. You want to make sure you save it out. And again, that's going to have uh, some little screws in it. Get those uh, to come out. A lot of times the, the, they'll have just a, a couple screws in there. Uh, you can move this little clip back and remove that. And a lot of e-scrap buyers uh, will also buy that in, uh, in quantity and bulk. And that looks like the only screw on there. One more over here to get out. But this reader there with that little eye in it has gold. And of course you've got an insulated motor here, uh, an insulated motor there. And these are, let's see the, I'm not sure what the disc that is. I'm not worried about trying to, to get that out. But you can just uh, pop this out because a lot of things else with the radios is just held in by either a couple little screws there, just uh, something to clip the wires with. And that's that's a good uh, size board there, ready to go to your e-scrap. And then you can take your flathead screwdriver again, and these are held in usually with a spring on a, a rod, and just uh, that rod's usually threaded or grooved to move that back and forth as it reads over the, the CD that you've got in there. And just remove that and hold that thing out as a whole. I know it looks copper to you probably on on video, but that does have gold in it, so you want to keep that aside. And just uh, pop that motor out, pop this motor here out with just a couple screws. The rest of that's going to be steel to go in your steel, and you have the two screws. Now, if you can see down in, in the bottom of this, you've got a nice board. And when I mean nice board, I'm going to have another video to, to show you about e-scrap and uh, how you can take advantage of that. But a nice board is a, is a board that, that, well, for just a lack of a better uh, explanation, just has a lot of stuff going on with it. Uh, you know, there's some EPROMs and some other things in there that, that makes that board uh, valuable. And you want to just take those four screws out, pry the rest of your steel off, and uh, there's two screws here. Take those two screws out. That's going to have a short board in the back of it with your gold on it that matches your top from your, your clip and you wanna, you wanna make sure you set that aside. So basically that's uh, all you gotta do to, to take one apart. Uh, set that one out of the camera shot. And you're gonna see different ones, different styles. This one has the, the CD that you put through the front. It's also gonna have a, a face plate that you can remove. Again, it's gonna have gold there, gold here. Same thing, you start out with this mounting plate, take that off take a few screws out and, and basically with a nice long flat screwdriver you can really uh, get everything that you need out of those uh, to make it worth your while. This is another with a nice uh, aluminum heat sink on the back worth a little bit more than your uh, cast aluminum heat sink. And basically I'm hoping you can be able to, to see this. Some uh, aftermarket's going to have some add-on plugs those are going to be uh, gold plated. Not a whole lot of gold, but gold is gold when you go to, to sell it to a scrapper. There's the, the two motors that I was telling you about. You want to pop those out. That's going to get an insulated aluminum motor. Uh, price at most, uh, most yards. And that's uh, going to be copper uh, pri uh, uh, motor. And this is, is your board that's going to come out of the bottom of it. I'm hoping you can, can see that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm holding it in the right place or not for the camera, but if not, maybe I can add a, a steel shot to it. And that's a good board. Most places, uh, that board, uh, the way it is, sometimes this will have a metal clip or ring around it. You want to try to go ahead and remove that, uh, a, a metal ring around the back. Go ahead and take that off because you want to be fair to them. But a lot of the other stuff you don't want to take off and you don't want to modify it because it may reduce the value of the board. But that's a good board right